Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings and today I'm going to talk about a writer I've really adored for a very long time. It was only a few years ago that I was asked to contribute a story to a book that was going to be called Motives for Murder. Brilliant title isn't it? It was published with the Detection Club in honour of the 80th birthday of Peter Lovesy, him, who's a lovely bloke. So here we go, because today what I've done is I've had a good look around. I spoke to a chap last week who said I ought to do a review of The Road. I thought, brilliant idea, excellent book, I like the film, I'll do a review of The Road. Can I find it? Can I hell? It's somewhere in here. Let me demonstrate what here means. Here means piles of books all over the place. It means bookshelves. And this is just a limited number of the bookshelves and books in my house because all of the fiction stuff, this is just for research and non-fiction, so all the shelves I just showed you, and immediately behind the camera here is bookshelves full of books. Where is Motives for Murder? I haven't got the faintest idea. I was talking about the road, wasn't I? Yes, I couldn't find the road, so I thought, I know, I'll do something else. And I thought, Peter Lovesy, ideal thing to talk about, motives for murder. Can I find motives for murder? No, can I hell? But I have got The Last Detective and a number of his other books. So, quick five-minute review of Peter Lovesy, The Last Detective. Here we go. What's the time? Right. I have five minutes. What do I like about his writing? Peter Lovesy is a very wonderfully engaging writer. He has invented many characters. One of the characters that he had for quite some time was Bertie, who was based on Queen Victoria's son, who was later to become King Edward. He invented Bertie as a slightly drunken womanising amusing fellow who also in his spare time liked to solve murders. It was actually a very engaging, delightful series, uh, made it onto the radio, didn't make it into film I don't think, but really nice stories. This book is the first of his moving in a different direction that I think he produced in the early 90s, let me just, yep, 1991 this was published, and this is about Detective Superintendent Peter Diamond who is the last detective, because he's the last of the detectives that still believes in doing things like legwork, going around speaking to people. He doesn't trust the National Crime Computer. He doesn't trust all the modern highfalutin technology. He's an old-fashioned copper who thinks that you get to the answers by speaking to people and getting responses from them. He's large, fat, a bit intimidating. He's not the most delightful character, but there's still so much about him in this book that just makes you giggle. One thing that Peter is superb at is the little sleight of hand. So he'll present you with situations which are apparently blatantly obvious, and then he will show you how he told you what was going on already, and he just made you look the other way while he was telling you all about it. I was rereading this today and on my walk I had to have a I had to stop and have a belly laugh because he does that sleight of hand so superbly. But he can bring up a scene, he can explain characters, he can explain motives. He does absolutely everything with a really nice concise manner of writing, very direct, but beautiful language as well. I and mean, basically he covers all of the bases. The Last Detective itself brilliantly imagined story, very convoluted. If you like puzzles in your crime books, this is for you. If you like fairly gritty crime books, this is for you. If you like humour in crime books, this is for you. Basically, it does everything. What don't I like about this book? There is one huge, huge thing that I hate about this book. I didn't bloody well write it. I would have liked to have done. So there you go, that was considerably less than five minutes. 
So what else can I say? It's got a nice cover, good writing on the back. Really good book. So all I can say is, well worth a read. If you see a copy of that, get hold of it. It's the first in the series with Diamond. Um, in this one he's a policeman. In future books he loses his job with the police and becomes a private investigator. All set around Bath from the Cotswolds. Delightful countryside, delightful stories. Go and buy a copy. If you enjoyed this, I'm very sorry there isn't going to be one next week because I'm out doing some stuff which I'll maybe explain later in another event. However, for now, if you enjoyed this, thanks a lot. Go down the bottom. Any comments you've got, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, if you haven't hit the bell for notifications and liked it and shared it and all that sort of stuff. And there's also a link to Patreon because if you go down there, you can help support this channel. And apart from that, that's my lot. I've got to get back to work. Thanks very much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.